This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.8.1. Instructors can now pin an activity feed post to the top of the feed. Now, when an instructor has an older activity feed post they would like to remind learners of, they click its options menu and select pin post to top. The post now displays at the top of the feed, followed by remaining posts in chronological order. You can now add a banner image to the organization or custom org unit, such as the department, or enable instructors to do so. This feature implements PI item D3781. To enable banner images on home pages by default, turn on the existing D12, Tools, Home Pages, Banner, Default for Courses, and the new D2L, Tools, Home Pages, banner, default for other org units, configuration variables. Then, map the permissions for users you want to be able to access this feature. In the Course Management Console tool, set the C-Course Info permission at the correct org unit levels for the desired users. And, in the Manage Courses tool, set the Change Course Image permissions at the correct org unit levels for the desired users. From the Organization or a Custom Org Unit homepage, such as a department, click the Actions menu, and select Display Homepage Banner. Now, you can view and edit banner images for courses and other org units. You can now change the top color strip of a minibar from Navigation and Themes instead of Minibar Settings. Now, to change the org default navbar color, from the Themes tab of Navigation and Themes, click More Actions, and select Change Organization Default Color. Select a top color strip value, then click Save to apply it. You can also set a unique color for an individual theme on the Edit Theme page in Navigation and Themes. Now, when parents view assignment details, they can see the assignment score as well as written feedback left by instructors. To provide more context on an assignment's impact on a learner's final grade, the assignment score is now visible to parents. Additionally, written feedback left by instructors now displays. To provide you with more information when analyzing differences between datasets, some Brightspace datasets now include rows of data that have been soft deleted from the application but are still present in the database. To indicate a soft delete, the is deleted, deleted date, and recycled date columns are included in the org unit's Brightspace dataset. In addition, the Gradebook Settings Brightspace dataset now contains rows associated with deleted org units. To simplify access to Brightspace datasets, users now only require the Can Access Brightspace datasets permission. All permissions previously required to run specific Brightspace datasets have been removed. Instructors can now scroll through users' grades without losing the context for which and whose grades they are looking at. This feature implements PI item D622. Now, when instructors scroll within the Standard View, Spreadsheet View, Grade Category, Individual Grade Item, and Final Grades pages within Grades, the Name Column or Header Row is locked in place when using Chrome, Firefox, and Safari web browsers. Note, the Locked Name Column or Header Row will not be active when using a small screen space, such as a mobile device. Instructors will find it easier to add and organize materials within lessons due to a number of interface improvements. The new unit button now displays on the main interface to make it more intuitive to get started and organize your course. Now, the Add button is always visible to easily add lessons, folders, and materials to a course offering. When you click Add, a breadcrumb trail now indicates where you are adding material to, allowing you to easily navigate up or down the tree to add material at different levels. The types of materials you can add to your course now appear on a full screen page. All options are intuitively organized with clear names and icons. You can also immediately browse or drag and drop files onto the upload area. Instructors will notice a number of improvements to manage dates. This feature implements PI item D227. 
The course start date and end date appears at the top of the Manage Dates page and acts as a reference for instructors when operating on the dates of the various activities. If you have assigned instructors the Manage Courses, Change Start and End Dates permission, they can launch a dialog box to edit the dates. Course activities now display in the order in which an instructor would see them in their respective tools. When viewing calendar events, instructors can now edit the start and end dates of events that were manually created and not tied to existing activities or content topics. Lastly, the new Review and Manage Dates button appears at the end of the Copy Course Components, Course Import, and Course Import Advanced Pages. Corporate administrators and managers can now easily view course enrollment and activity status for each user. Managers can now view the course enrollment status for all users in a course from the Active Courses tab on the User Details page. The pending enrollment state now appears clearly in the Course Status column. Courses the user has completed appear in the Completed Courses tab. Now, assigned users and users with pending enrollments in the course appear on one page, with the pending enrollment state of a user clearly indicated in the Completion Status column. The Not Assigned tab has been removed. Corporate administrators and managers can now more easily manage course enrollment. An improved workflow on the Course Details page includes a new Assign People button. This makes it easier to assign and remove users from courses. Instructors and learners will notice interface changes when previewing rubric definitions. Rubric previews have an improved look and feel. Rubric definition previews open in a pop-up window or are embedded in the assignment view, such as from an assignment or discussion. Each rubric definition preview accommodates current rubric types, six levels, and 10 criteria. A total row replaces the overall score row for the entire rubric. Rubric definition previews maintain a consistent appearance across tools in Brightspace learning environment, including responsive display on desktops and mobile devices. Instructors can now add new SCORM solution objects into their course directly from lessons. The workflow is the same as adding new SCORM solution objects using content. 